Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is C. Michelle and I am so excited to be spending some time here with you today. But before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you are aware whenever I post new videos. And give me a big thumbs up and share this video with anyone who you think needs to hear it. And last but not least, please check out my Instagram where I post new pictures and scriptures. You guys, I'm gonna be 100 with you. After being single for a while, you start to feel one of three things. One is you get so used to being alone, you no longer want anyone in your space. Number two, the thought never leaves your mind that whenever you go a place, that is a place where you're going to meet your husband. And three, you're cool either way, a combination of them both. So for I, I was more of number two with thoughts like, I wonder if today is the day I'm going to meet him. While shopping, well, this is cute. I cannot wait to start dating again. I'm gonna have a full wardrobe ready. Lord, I'm gonna meet him at the store, Arna. Let me go get real cute and just hang out in the fruit and vegetable aisle. Sis, did you see that man stand up as a visitor? Look at God, that's him. He knows I want a man that serves. Lord, he's gonna be at the gym today, isn't he? Why? I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I still think like that, but the Lord checked me and was like, chill, you acting desperate. I mean, I thought I was just being hopeful and excited thinking today might be the day. Now mind you, no one knew that I was feeling this way. These are only thoughts that I had in the back of my mind, but I just felt so convicted after hearing the Lord tell me that. And I felt like he was thinking, Do you seek me in everything you do? When you're at the store buying garbage, putting that in the temple that I gave you, do you seek me and what I might think is pleasing? Where am I at when you're shopping? Have you paid your tithe, sis? Here you go. That's a word. That's a word. I felt like he was telling me like the 23 hours a day you spent thinking about meeting Del Monte. Could you at least think about me? Would he be your idol? Whoa, whoa, no. So are you seeking the kingdom or are you seeking some can you imagine how convicted I felt after that conversation? After hearing God's voice and hearing God tell me like you are acting desperate. And then he also reassured me though that there's nothing wrong with wanting love. But the problem is, is when you start to obsess over it, when you start to make that person or that idea of a person an idol and you start to lose focus on God and then that starts to disarm you. When you disarm yourself with the word of God, that makes you more susceptible to attacks from the devil. So just imagine you're obsessing over something else. The devil knows how to send somebody to creep on in that can take advantage of that vulnerability. We are only desperate for God. So uh, during that whole process, I just remember being really excited and hopeful and happy at first. And then over time, sadness started to come in because he wasn't coming fast enough. Then over time, bitterness started to creep in. And then despondency started to creep in. And hold on, stay with me here. Then the settling thoughts start to come in. Then the questioning of your self-worth starts to come in and then the granddaddy of them all, the nuclear starts to come out. And then you think, let me just go ahead and have this baby before it's too late, honey. Those starts start coming in. And girl, I know, I know it seems like a downward spiral, seems like a whole bunch of feelings and emotions, but those were truly just my thoughts and my feelings and my emotions. Those are not the emotions that I want for you or I. Those are not things that we should be feeling or thinking about during our singleness because according to the Bible. And I've read this scripture before and I'm going to read it again because it's so important for us to know this one. This is by Songs of Songs, chapter 2, verse 7. Young women of Jerusalem, promise me by the power of the deer and gazelles never to awaken love before it is ready. It's in the word right there. He'll awaken love when it's time. He'll send us the right person when it's time. But I'm going off on a tangent. As I was mentioning prior, these are just some of my true emotions that I experienced. And all of these feelings can lead to desperation. And please don't say you've never felt any of these feelings because that is a lie. Now rebuke that. Mm -mm. 
were not in denial in 2018. So I looked up the definition of desperate and we're gonna read that right now. Feeling, showing, or involving a hopeless sense that a situation is so bad as to be impossible to deal with. Nah, we're none of that. So here are some of my main points. Number one, don't pounce on every man you see. To be pursued is the dream and every man you come across is not your husband. Have some standards, have some self-respect. And don't settle just because you're reaching a certain age or a person is giving you a little bit of attention. So you're just going to settle for it. Or in order to keep someone and you just met them, perhaps they're already asking you for money. So basically you have to pay for their love. No, thanks. Number two, same thing, same results. As I mentioned in my last video, don't become bitter in your singleness. I'll I card that above. But I basically was talking about not going back to that old thing and not sending the wrong text to the right person. Meaning you go through your phone, you know the person you're interested in and you're like, you know what? Let me mistakenly text them just to initiate a conversation. Girl, bye, sir, bye. We've all done it or at least have been a victim of it. So comment below if you've done that or if someone has done that to you but I guarantee yeah come on now and also you know if you keep revisiting the same guy or girl over and over and over again because they claim they changed this time unless you hear a clear voice from God telling you they are the one to give them another shot let it fall by the wayside and when you get a man and when you start dating, you guys don't lose your minds. Don't become brainwashed. I have a whole nother sermon on that, but don't lose your minds and don't become brainwashed. Don't lose sight of you in order to keep them. Don't make him your idol and just enjoy the process. Enjoy dating and remember all the things that you worked on during your season of development. Remember all the lessons you learned ask for a sign. So this one is like my favorite because I always do this when I'm dating um, right in the beginning. If I find them interesting, I say a prayer to God and I say, God, if he's not the one, please remove him. And every single time he has removed him, he's given me a sign or we've either lost contact or something has happened to where we no longer communicated. And also in that same breath, I would ask God, if he is the one, please give me a sign that he is. He ain't never given me no sign. So you guys remember, we are so special to God. We are only desperate for him. Dear God. God, we are only desperate for you. Help us to stay focused on you while being hopeful to receive love, the love that you awaken when it's time. While dating, Lord, please help to keep us grounded in all that you have taught us during our season of development. And it's in your name we pray, amen. If no one has told you they loved you today, know that I do. I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great day. Go out and be a blessing to someone in some way. And I can't wait to see you on my next message Monday. Hey, that rhymes like all of that. Adios, besos.